Hi, this is Garrett Irwin, and I'm going to be talking to you about my simulation that we did this semester. If you have any questions, my email is listed below. We'll go ahead and get right into it. My company was named Uptown Trek Bicycle Company. I currently live in New York City, so I really based it off of being a more urban area or bike central area location. In quarter one, I really chose to focus on personal goals to develop brand management, sales management, and an overall understanding of marketing. My main focus was to develop business analytical skills, but I'm going to be honest, I should have really kept uh, this you know, in my mind with the goals. But with these goals overall in mind, my mission was to really help navigate your daily ride through any terrain using the innovation, creativity, and originality of my bicycles. My first purchase was an $81,000 purchase on a 900 sample study of our you know, consumers coming up. In quarter two, my target market was once again for Amsterdam and New York City. This is where I spent a large chunk of my money. I spent $476,000 to open up those two stores, which was fine. I expected that. In quarter two, I designed three brands, which was the Comtrek for a commuter bike, Rectrek, which was for a recreational bike, and a Kidtrek, which was for a youth bike. In quarter three, I started using advertising expenses. That was my biggest cost. Uh, I opened up web, web page advertising. You can see over on the side there that those remained pretty still up and through quarter four. I used more money on market research and store leases as well as employee services and staff. Um, I think I spent a little bit too much money on the employee and service staff, but I felt like I needed to have a lot of people in the stores. I didn't really have that kind of understanding at that time while I was just getting started. Although I was seeing revenue and gross margin in the positive, my net pop profits were in the negative throughout the time that I was running the simulation. Um, my bikes were getting judged pretty well so I modified my recreational bike to hopefully gain some, you know, positive and better feedback throughout the sales, which were relatively good. I modified that rec track. I added more hybrid comfort tires and reflectors. Um, I think something that I wanted to do throughout was kind of maintain the basics. Um, I didn't want to kind of confuse the customers, which is something that I like to do when I personally shop for things. Um, you know, I like having a few upgrades, but I also like having basic, you know, amenities. I made some price adjustments to gain profits, um, you know, amongst my competitors. I also took this opportunity to open two other stores, which I think at this time might have been too early to do. I think I either should have waited or not opened them at all. I think this was a big purchase at this time. So I spent about $584,000 during this quarter alone to keep up store leases for the two original locations, as well as setting up the stores for these two. I was also getting very overwhelmed by the numbers, so things were kind of running together. In quarter five, I really started noticing things declining even though I had sales and gross margin prof, um, gro you know, growth, my net profit margin continued to decline a lot. I was given the $2 million like the rest of us um, from the investors for R&D. We had a, you know, a few lines in the uh, lecture that said, you know, don't be afraid of large losses. You know, you have to spend money to make money. I think I took that a little too seriously. Uh, this is where I began to think, you know, did I consider the correct target market? Did I really allocate my funds, you know, funds appropriately? All in all, I spent $4.4 million in this quarter. And looking back, that was way too much. I, I mean, that probably just shot me right into debt. I really shouldn't have done that. Um, 
I also don't think that I needed to make those, you know, changes throughout in R and D and I really shouldn't have, you know, done that kind of spending. I also took the opportunity to expand my brands, um, creating my speed bike and my mountain bike, the aero track and the mountain track, as you can see to the side. In quarter six, uh, my brands weren't noticeably popular, but my prices were doing pretty well. Um, I tried to compete in the best ways. Uh, my speed bike was probably the most profitable at that time. I took the opportunity to open another store in Portland again. Not sure if I should have done that or if I should have just waited. Um, I spent another $366,000 towards the store leases and setup costs for that store. I was noticing that I was getting pretty frustrated with my advertising because I kept getting the alerts about it. And I took the opportunity to decrease my local and regional advertising by $1.1 million to hopefully cut the cost in the end um, and to see where that might go. I was also noticing that my competitors weren't spending as much on advertising, but were still doing well and if not better than I was. So quarter seven came along and I noticed that the mountain track had been decreasing in sales, but I still had kind of some hope in that because I had just added that on. And I noticed that the kid track, the youth line was not doing well over the last few quarters when I started it in the beginning. So I actually decided to pull that from the brand directly and officially. I just figured that was kind of maybe pulling me down a bit. Um, and then I continued to, you know, decrease the local and regional advertising still. As much as the SEM um, confused me when I was doing that online to get some, you know, feedback on web pages and get some you know, clicks, um, I was doing well with that, I think. And I managed to gain some sales from that, especially compared to my competitors. I thought that that was almost a fun thing to do. I was doing a lot of research online on actually how to do it. I watched some YouTube videos on how to actually do that type of work. And I, I was nervous about it, but I, you know, did it well, I think. I attempted rebates in this quarter and I it really did not help me at all. I think I either should have done it earlier in the game or I should have just continued not to do it. In quarter eight, it definitely proved that I shouldn't have done the rebates. Um, the, that it, the numbers just went down, as you can see. Marketing was getting better reviews. The R&D was being added, so advertising was changing in that sense. Um, again, R&D, I think I should have just kept the basics. Um, and then I continued to decrease the advertising uh, for local and regional marketing by 832,000, because at this point, I was just trying to help my bottom line. I knew I wasn't going to get out of debt very easily. And especially because I had so many competitors at this point. And I, again, I was just trying to help myself out. Some things that I would change, I would probably rename the company to make it more universally focused. I had started in the beginning with Uptown Trek Bicycle Company because I live in New York City. And I think that that focus wasn't very universal because I was opening stores in France and Tokyo, Portland, Amsterdam. Some of those company or some of those bike brand like locations aren't necessarily New York City. So I think I should have made it more universal. Somebody who lives in a smaller you know location isn't going to you know think about it as being a urban area. I should have started with maybe one store and gone from there. And I should have maybe spent more time understanding numbers with the lectures. I should have worked on price management and kept an eye on the competition a little bit more. I should definitely not have spent $4.4 million in quarter five alone. I should have spent less money on the media. That's my biggest regret. I should have lowered the sales and the service staff. We didn't need that many. Should have cut costs with employee incentives because that did nothing. And um, you know, I should have taken in consideration how long to spend on market research. And you know, in our textbook, we talk about product life cycle and how it might change throughout the simulation. 
I wanted to take some time to look into that a little bit more. And then my overall outcome is leasing and operating two locations in the beginning. And I ended up with five locations and I think this is way too much. I began with three brands and then I ended up with five minus the kid track at the end. And I consistently had sales revenue and growth margin profits that increased along the way, but consistently had some net profit loss. As you can see to the um, right side of the screen, I started in the beginning really high and I ended really low on the lowest scale with 7% of the market. And once again, should have studied the product life cycle and unsuccessfully ended with nearly $6.5 million in debt. So long story short, don't start a business with just solely me. Start with a big company that may or may not notice and know have and have knowledge of what they're doing. <laughs> so thank you so much. Once again, if you have questions, let me know.